All right, so wanted to do do this uh, video quite some time now, but uh, I'm really lazy. Now it comes to the point where I have to film it because there's a potential chance where I'm using any one of these tomorrow as we are going after Yellowtail. So, Surface Iron Arsenal. We're gonna start off with my first Surface Iron setup ever. If you want to learn how to cast conventional reels but you're afraid of the bird's nest and going through that whole learning process, this is what I recommend. This is exactly what I did. I got the Daiwa Alexa HD 400 high speed power handle. It's 7.1 to 1 gear ratio. I got this at the Fred Hall show last year and I didn't know what rod I wanted to pair it with but I knew I wanted it to be a surface iron setup so I wasn't going to take anything less than 8.6. Luckily that was right about the same time that Okuma came out with this and I saw this at the Fred Hall show. They weren't selling it there but that's where I noticed it and I found it online. You could get this rod right here for pretty damn cheap. Supposedly it retails at like 169 I think. There's tons of websites out there that are selling this exact rod for way cheaper. I've already done a video on this one. Uh, this is the Okuma SCT Inshore. Honestly, it, it kind of has to be one of my favorite surface iron setups because of the fact that I haven't really put anything else to the test yet. I've caught fish on other surface iron setups, but this one I've caught the most fish on. The other setups that I had, I didn't get until after last Yellowtail season. So I'm really excited for this year and I'm really excited to put some fish against my new, my new setups. The reason why I got this setup right here is because if you're like me and you were really afraid to cast those conventional reels. Like maybe it's really tough for you. It was really tough for me. I couldn't do it. I got really comfortable with bait casters. It's come to the point where all I use now is bait casters. Like I, I don't even like using spinning reels anymore. I will use them. I, I mean, don't get me wrong. I'll, I'll use them all the time. I still go trout fishing and perch fishing and everything like that. So I still use spinning rods, but the feeling of a bait caster and reeling in a fish on a bait caster is just so much more satisfying. It feels phenomenal casting it wise, setting up and recasting out is just it's way easier and it got to the point where I wanted something bigger and I wanted it to be big game worthy because I did a lot of offshore fishing and that brought me to the Lexa H. Deep. And personally, I, I've, I've fished the Lexa on a couple different rods, and in my opinion, the SETI is one of my favorite, like, all-time rods in general. It's like, it's got plenty of backbone, but it's still got a lot of width to it, as you can see. So, if you're somebody out there who likes rods with a good amount of whip, and that's what you prefer, highly, highly recommend the SETI. But, if you don't like whip, brings me to my next setup. Lexa win. I've put this to plenty of big yellowtail already, but I didn't have an official rod for it until I want to say like two months ago, maybe not even that long, but I, I was about to just buy another SETI just because I couldn't find anything that I wanted to my likings for this reel and to pair it with and make it look good. I've done a video on this one as well on the St. Croix Mojo Muskie. I've done a video on both these two rods, but when I pretty much gave up on trying to find a new rod for to pair with this, I saw that St. Croix ended up having a, a musky rod, and it, uh, that's when it clicked into my head that musky rods are meant for big swim baits. They're made for big lures, and the because of that, they're similar to inshore rods. And when I checked out the specs, I was like, all right. I'm, I'm getting it, and from what I've learned now, from here on, if I'm looking for a new inshore rod, I'm gonna check out musky rods, for sure. Big tip to you guys, if you can't find the right inshore rod, go ahead and check out some, some musky rods. There, there's gonna be some, some similar specs that you're looking for, and like I was saying, if you don't like whip and you like a stiff rod, I love stiff rods. I mean, who doesn't like a nice stiff rod? This thing has so so much backbone and there's not a whole lot of whip to it. I've gotten a chance to cast it but not to the way that I would love to like figure out how to cast it. Uh, we went to Castaic Lake and that's why I have this trout surface iron right here that I made. We went to Castaic Lake and it was so windy that day so I didn't get to get a good feel on the rod itself so I'm probably gonna bring this with me tomorrow and uh, hopefully get a good feel on it tomorrow. From what I felt out it felt really good and it, honestly I think it pairs really nicely with the with the Lexa win and I love it a lot. It looks good. Super super stiff. If you don't like whip highly recommend this rod right here. Next, the only other surface iron rod that I've actually like really put to the test, this is actually my dad's setup right here. 
but this is my first rod right here. I ended up giving it to my dad for his birthday. Calstar GFD H900. It's 15 to 30 pound, and we recently paired it with the Saltist Golden Black series. Feels really, really good. I have put I've put a lot of fish against this rod, but for surface iron use, I've only put one fish against this rod on a surface iron. It's it's a pretty good surface iron rod in general. I like it a lot. This one's got this one's got a good amount of whip as well. Honestly, it feels really similar to the SCTI, except this one's a nine footer and the SCTI is a eight six. I mean, I know Calstar is pretty pricey, but it. If you get one, you won't regret it. Yeah, I don't want to go too in depth about this one because that brings me to my holy grail of surface iron setups. I am really excited for this next coming season for this rod. Got the Trinidad 20A on there paired with the Calstar GDH 100 J Mag. I have put big fish on this, but not big yellowtail yet. Put big bonito like 10 pound bonito against this rod so i got a good feel on a big game fish against this really excited for this uh my buddy sold me this rod he literally did not use it i recall him saying he never even made a single cast on this but he brought it with him on one trip but he didn't even cast it usually cal stars would come with cork but he got the cork uh he took all the cork off and he got this custom tuna cord wrap and i, I love the look of tuna cord way more than i love cork and it, it looks amazing. If you're looking for a 10 foot, 10 foot surface iron rod, I recommend this. It feels so good. It's pretty similar to the, the other Calstar, which is also similar to the STI. They all feel pretty, pretty similar, but this one is a 10 footer. So obviously it's a lot different, if that makes sense to you. Obviously there's gonna be a lot more difference to it. But when I say it feels similar is like whip action wise, pretty similar the bend of the rod almost everything about it feels the same except casting wise different size rods are obviously going to cast and feel different when you're casting it but fighting the fish wise yeah it's it, it is a little bit different fighting the fish with a 10 foot rod as well i'll definitely tell you that but the, the good thing about this is like usually 10 footers aren't that light but this is a super super light rod for a 10 footer and it feels really good and with the Trinidad 20A paired with it, you know, it's it's literally the holy grail setup. All of my setups in general. Hopefully, I can put a fish against this one tomorrow. Weather's pretty cold, so I don't know if they're going to be hitting surface, but you know, you got to be optimistic. Bring what you bring what you got just in case. I'm probably going to bring 3 or 4 rods tomorrow. Definitely a surface iron setup, yo-yo setup, probably rig up a dropper loop as well and a live bait set up for fly line just in case they don't want to hit the surface iron you can always throw out a sardine hopefully get them that way that's pretty much all i got to tell you guys like I, I didn't really want to go into depth about every single rod i had i just wanted to show you guys my arsenal this is what i use this is this is what feels good to me so if you're asking my opinion on what i would use if you're trying to get a, a surface iron setup these are what i use these are what i like these is this is what i recommend so Hope you guys enjoyed that video. If you want me to go more in depth about each setup, let me know. Maybe I'll make future videos on each rod. Uh, well, I guess the only ones I could really do future videos on are these two right here since, or no, I could do a future video on this rod right here if you want to hear me talk more in depth about it. But yeah, that's all I got for you guys today. As always, give this video a nice big thumbs up. Subscribe to my channel if you aren't already. Go check out Harbor Hooligans. If you haven't seen them yet, hit them up on Instagram if you want to. If you want one of their t-shirts, pretty sweet. That's all I got for you guys. Thanks for watching. I will see you all next time. Merry Christmas.